smoke girlfriend or whatever. Or, 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 you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. And um, she had hit me like, yo, like. Tell me it's the same dude. Yeah, man, dog. Yeah, bro. Wow. Come oh, on, bro. Oh, shit. Wow. It's your boy, Puerto Falco, folks, and we're back again with another one, man. Now, check it out, man. Anywhere you effing go, anybody you effing know, somebody got to know me, folks. Now, we're back again with fuckery, straight unadulterated fuckery. Man. Now, if you haven't heard, man, the pop smoke trial have started, man. But the trial, the current evidence that's being brought forth have left us with more questions than answers, bro. Because we're wondering why the girl who was with pop smoke, who clearly backdoored him, why isn't she getting charged with anything, all right? So hopefully this video here can bring charges or at least an investigation on that no good for nothing ass bitch, all right? So first of all, let's just hear academics, all right, explain the sketchy details as to why we personally are looking at that bitch like, well, hold up now, you clearly backdoor pop smoke. Let's hear academics explain the details and then I'll be back with the real concrete evidence. Let's take a look. Of what allegedly happened. They're saying that a woman, listen to this, who was with Pop Smoke in the rented home. The second story bedroom recalled seeing a group of men storm through curtains from a balcony access accessible by a backyard staircase. Let's, let's be slow with this. The woman with Pop Smoke, let's say that's Pop Smoke's chick he's fucking for the night, is saying, or told cops, that the way the men got in the house, look, recalled seeing a group of men storm through curtains from a balcony access accessible by a backyard staircase. These niggas knew the exact way to get directly to the fucking room Pop Smoke was in. It's not like they just kicked out the front door and, and said, where's Pop Smoke? They went directly to the room he was in. All right, so academics pretty much explained. Wait, hold up now. Like, you was in the room with Pop Smoke. Somehow the killers knew the exact bedroom to go through. The killers somehow knew to go through the balcony. And that's where Pop Smoke was going to be. And you had no involvement in it. The killers came through the bedroom door when Pop Smoke was in the bathroom to catch him off guard. And that was just luck? No, it's not luck. Now, I would have chalked up to just coincidence. Oh, they're just lucky. But then Young Berg actually exposed this bitch before, right? This is the same bitch who tried to set up Young Berg and get his home invaded, right? So, first of all, let's just hear Young Berg explain how Talia Tillery, say her name, Talia Tillery, all right? How the same bitch who backdoor Pop Smoke tried to backdoor him. And then we will review the surveillance camera and see if we can connect the dots between her, the guys who uh, robbed and killed Pop Smoke, and the guys who are on camera trying to rob and kill Young Berg, right? Let's take a look. I hadn't spoke to her for a while, and, like, she was on Instagram Live. And um, I just, like, this is the first day of quarantine. And she would hit, she texted me, like, I haven't seen you in a while, babe. Like, let me pull up on you. So I sent her Uber to my crib. And um, she got to my crib, and I put the alarm on in my house. And, like, uh, we was just in the house chilling. And um, I think I said something to her, like, it, it, and then she was like, yo, say it again. I don't remember what. And then she slapped the shit out of me. Bow! So oh. now, like, I'm seeing stars. Oh, and this is not y'all usual relationship, like you nah, smack and y'all smoke and stuff see, like nah, that. No, nah, hell like, no, 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 no. I mean, just certain no, niggas that be in there, like, oh, let's go. No. Let's go. No. Like, so, <laughs> no, and, I'm tell, and I'm telling this story for anybody that's in LA because LA is this shit treacherous the, right the, now. Like, the I'm promising you. Get you. Listen, uh, is you, you saying? Yo, I'm scared. Yo. I got PTSD. I can't even really entertain a woman like. Like, I got security right. 24 hours a day. I can't. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, like she slapped me. I pulled my phone out because you know these times, like I got cameras all in my house everywhere, right. but you know these times that we live in, this right. shit that's going on right now. It was three guys. So with, she called it was three guys. It, she was sharing a location. It was three guys with guns and shit Damn. like that trying to come and kick in my crib. And I had the alarm on and then, you know, and like the crazy thing is like when it was happening, instead of her being like a girl that was, um, 
in the midst of a home invasion, like right. I was, like she was fighting me. She was throwing it out. She tried to fight me. She punched me again when it happened. So I was as, like, as people trying to yeah, get to your crib. Yeah, bro. It was a, oh. yo, bro. I, I'm still like, I'm still dealing with PTSD from that shit, bro. Yeah, I'm traumatized for you, bro. That's that's you shouldn't went through that, bro. You worked too hard, bro. Yeah, so I mean, is, is this girl from LA or she wish she from Rancho Cucamonga? Uh, she from LA, and look, let me tell you the craziest shit. Here go, here go the craziest shit. So that happened immediately. Like you know, like I lawyered up. You know what I'm saying? Got all this shit, and I came down here to Miami and just was laying low. And um, fuck it. Uh, I casually like am cool with. Pop Smoke girlfriend or whatever. Wow. Or, or, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace. Wow. And um, she had hit me like, yo, like... Tell me it's the same dude. Yeah, man, dog. Yeah, bro. Wow. Come oh, on, bro. Oh, shit. Wow. Yo, bro, just explain. I seen her on Instagram. It was 2 a.m. I was horny trying to bust a nut. I inboxed her. She inboxed me back. She came over. And as soon as she came over, that's when things got interesting, all right? Her mission to come over was to cause a distraction, cause chaos, right? While the robbers backdoored Young Berg, literally backdoor, come through the back door, right? So when she came in, she started punching on Young Berg, smacking on Young Berg. Bro, this is military tactics, bro. This is literally military tactics. Which shows she's been involved in multiple backdoorings, home invasions, right? She came in knowing, oh, okay, cool. I got to distract them, cause chaos as they come through the back. But lucky for Young Bird, he had a surveillance camera on. Lucky for Young Bird, lucky for him, right? He had a home alarm system where it alerted him as soon as they was trying to come in and the cop got alerted too. So they got scared off and ran away. Now let's review the surveillance camera so we can maybe connect the dots between the guys who robbed and killed Pop Smoke and the guys who attempted to rob and kill Young Bird. Let's take a look. All right, people. So you guys see here, you guys see Mr. Barker, right? Mr. Barker is the one we have to hone in on. Here's Mr. Barker. And here's the guy who tried to Rob and kill Young Bird. They're obviously the same person. They're literally the same person. Now, it's no coincidence now. Now, it's no coincidence that this broad was with Pop Smoke when he got robbed and killed. And with Young Bird when he was about to get robbed and killed. It's clearly the same person, the same people. The same people. Now, I want to ask you guys, why haven't she... Why haven't she gotten prosecuted for it yet? I think she's testifying against them. She's a witness for the state currently. She's a witness. So she's giving it up. She's testifying. And I think she was the one who came forward and told all the names and broke the case open. And that's why they're protecting her. But now, folks, she has to get prosecuted too. She has to. All right? Now, this broad is so guilty, folks. She's so guilty, folks, that she went ahead and deleted her entire Instagram, her Twitter. She deleted all traces of her on uh, social media besides Facebook, which is an old Facebook account that she probably don't even access no more. She really backdoored Pop Smoke. She's no victim, folks, at all. She's, no, she's not a victim at all. At all. She's testifying against them. She's in uh, court right now, crying and shit, giving testimony, talking about, oh, they shot. Come on, bro. Come on, fam. Come on. Like my people, just look at the details. Bro, they came in through the back door. They came in through, sorry, the back balcony of the bedroom. Came through the bedroom. They ignored you. Went to Pot Smoke and killed Pot Smoke. And left you alive after you watched them murder Pot Smoke. You, you, you literally watched them commit the crime. But they ain't kill you. They kill Pop Smoke. Come on, bro. Cut the fucking nonsense, man. Cut the fucking nonsense, bro. The bitch is guilty. She did it, folks. She did it, man. 
hopefully this video here causes awareness, bro. Hopefully this video here brings her to justice. Hopefully the prosecutor stop protecting her. I don't care if she's testifying. She needs some something. Five years. Ten, she needs something for her role in this, bro. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Am I on point? Am I wrong? Let me know what y'all think, bro. It's your boy, Poetta Flacco, man. Click that like, click that sub, leave a comment, bro. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subs by June, folks. I need y'all help, bro. Please make it happen for a real one, man. It's your boy, Poetta Flacco, man. I'm out of here, folks. Got a hand out. My brother said, be a stand-up nigga and stand ten toes down. If one way don't work, fucker, we still got to find a way out.